Seventy years ago, we were heading into the heyday of American journalism. We were coming out of the era of muckraking, which had actually existed back in the earlier part of the 20th century, and then morphed eventually into investigative journalism. But in between, there was a golden age of journalism when there was some depth, much of which has been lost today. There was some depth because of Edward R. Murrow, because of the advent of network television, where people could sit and listen for a while to a single newsmaker being grilled, being grilled rather aggressively. And that was all possible when there was money to work with. It was all possible when there was public interest in a few of what are now called mainstream media outlets. But those days have disappeared. There was another very important piece of the, uh, the 1950s, the 60s, until the 1980s, the mid 80s. And what that was, was the Fairness Doctrine. The Fairness Doctrine put an obligation on the broadcast properties in this country to be fair. Fair meant balanced. Fair meant proactively looking for people on both sides to air an issue. When that went away, what proliferated? Talk radio, eventually then 24-7 cable TV, and they had no obligation to try to be fair and balanced. Each felt an obligation to attract a niche audience because that was a manifestation of what's happened in the bigger sense, the, the growth of the internet and the number of information sources coming at us. Now what's the ramification of that? Fewer ad dollars, less money to work with, fewer reporters around the country and around the world, fewer editors to do fact checking and all the rest. And what you have as a result is what everybody sees today, news organizations that aren't always getting it right and aren't providing the kind of coverage they used to provide. Where's journalism, where's news coverage gonna be in 30 years? I'm not in the prediction business, but the one thing we know is that the principles of journalism I won't say they won't change, they can't change because the principles are the principles. They're the Ten Commandments, but there are three or four. Get it right, don't impose your personal opinion, and find a way to clearly and concisely convey it to an audience. That's not gonna change. But I know that there are gonna be two obligations placed upon the people in this country. The people who work in journalism are gonna have the obligation to do what they're always supposed to have been doing. But the other obligations on the American people, on the consumers of information, because it used to be they just had a few places they would look. Now they are bombarded. We are bombarded from every direction. So we've got to figure out how to discriminate between those straightforward presentations of news and those that are deliberately skewed. I don't have a prescription for fixing that. The only prescription is for people to be aware of it so that they can do their research, go to the Snopes.coms of the world and see if something is true or false. There's no choice but to put that responsibility on the consumer because you know, the problem's out of the box.